Hi everyone, I'm Shauna and welcome to my channel. Today it's time for my mini and sample project pan update. I have all of my little, uh, my little sample bin from last month here. I am going to talk you through everything that I used up last month, having little mini reviews. I'm then gonna talk about like what's left over, what I need to finish for the next update. And then I'm going to roll in some products from this bin, same green bin. Um, and on here are just like, this is what's left of the samples. So I'm gonna pick some stuff and roll them in. I did talk last month that I thought that this next um, update here, like using up one more set of products would be the last time. Now I'm not totally sure. It's gonna be a game time decision. I just went to go take a look in my mask drawer and I do have quite a few mini masks in their, le in their left and a couple of, of mini or sample size hair products that like there's too many of those to be able to roll them into this project. I have at least three masks left that you haven't seen here and at least two additional um, like sample size hair products. Let's get into the updating. I did finish the Alterna anti-aging moisture conditioner and shampoo. I really like this and this was not this didn't make my hair as greasy as I expected. I was a little bit surprised at that. So I really did enjoy these and I like these enough where I'm like intrigued. You know, I'm like, okay, I, I would, if, if this was available as a sample set at Sephora, I would put this in my cart and I would use it again. I did also use up this Patchology mask. It was the exfoliating uh, flash, flash mask. I really like this. This surprised me. I used it last night and I woke up in my, and I only thing I put on top of this, like once I rubbed it in was a moisturizer. I was too tired to do anything else. So this was really, really nice. I can't say that I would use it again because I think sheet masks are expensive and wasteful, but I appreciated having this in to use it. Next is the Briogeo deep conditioning mask the um, Don't Despair Repair, and then the Scalp Revival Car Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. I used these together and I, I loved it. I had talked about how nervous I was to use this and I had been avoiding it. I didn't use this until like the last week and a half left of the project because I was putting it off and putting it off because I'm like, it's just gonna make my hair so greasy. And I assumed a lot about this. Um, I, I did use this, both of these last night, and I did get two uses out of these both. It made my hair so smooth and soft. It's very soft. And my hair is never this smooth, never. It's almost too smooth for my liking which surprised the absolute heck out of me. And I did go to bed with my hair wet last night. <laughs> it was just like, I needed to get it washed and I was too lazy to do it in the morning. I just wanted it clean so I could just start my day off with nice clean hair. But I, I love this. I really, really, really did. And I like this too. This, it, it says it's a micro exfoliating shampoo and I think that's an appropriate name. If you are expecting some deep exfoliating action from here, you would be disappointed. It does have little exfoliating beads in it, which you can feel in your hand. However, you can't really feel much exfoliating action on your scalp. This was really lovely and these two together were even better, but this is not really exfoliating. So that was a bit of a disappointment, but then when I look at what this product did, how it felt, I really, really, really enjoyed it. And I'm interested enough to immediately roll in this like bigger sample set um, that I have here. And I'm interested enough to potentially purchase it in the future. However, I'm interested in an, in an exfoliating scalp product 
and it doesn't necessarily have to be this and this product kind of demonstrated to me but like i have a need for that in my life it doesn't fit into the no buy year so i wouldn't buy it this year but in the future i could definitely see myself getting this kind of product because i feel like in the winter time my scalp gets like flaky i think it helps with that so i would totally be interested in purchasing that kind of product come 2021 but whether it's this or another product i did see one from giovanni that looked interesting and had good reviews so that's kind of what i'm talking about with this but this guy i have another sample set another sample size that is this size and then i also have this and then i also have like half of a full size container i don't think i could use the this alone with a like a regular shampoo i think it needs to be a very specific kind of shampoo like once i run out of this i do have a it's from a living proof it's i can't remember the name of it but it's like their triple detox shampoo and i think this would be really great to pair with that once the micro exfoliating one is gone some quick ones to blow through I did like the Pharmacy Daily Greens moisturizer. It was nice, but just okay. I felt the exact same way about the Milk Makeup Cleanser. It was just okay. And when we're talking about, like it was very, very gentle. And I think that there are just other gentle cleansers that are less expensive than that, that I would enjoy. But at the same time, like, I don't know how much I could tell from this like little sample i would probably get both of these as samples again in the future if they um, were to be available next up is the good genes um, lactic acid treatment from sunday riley this smelled horrible i thought that maybe this had gone off so i was like okay i'll try this one and i open this one next I don't know how to describe the scent. It seems like that's how, like that, that was the scent that it was intentionally built into the product. I couldn't stand it. So I have this full size product here and I can't keep it. I just, the scent was too, was too bad. I also used up the Rita Hazan Triple Threat Split and Remedy. It was okay, nothing great. Um, I also used up the alginist oil. This sample got everywhere. It just like, it sounded like it would be fine because it had like the perforation here, but it just like dripped everywhere. Besides that, I think this is a really expensive oil and it was like, it was okay. I have other oils that I like better. So I, this was, yeah, this was just okay. Let's talk about this thing that's been... It got stuck at the bottom and then it got all over everything. This is the RMS. This one is the Peach Luminizer. Can you see that color? It's really dark and this just stays tacky. It doesn't set at all. So it's like putting coconut oil on your face and leaving it there. It was so unpleasant and disrupted all the makeup underneath it. I don't even know like what do you do with this like people who wear this regularly what do you do with this absolutely not this one i didn't use it i'm just gonna give this to my mom next up is this herborean glow cream this shocked me i loved it i tried this was another one that i tried to savor it was amazing i would totally purchase the full size of this and because I don't know where this came from, I'm going to have to do some Google, Google searching on where this is sold because I would really like to try this out more and get the full size. I don't know what the, how expensive the full size is, so obviously that would determine if it's in my budget or not and I could actually purchase it, but I would like to buy it if I can. It, it was awesome. I like this because it was lightweight enough to wear in the morning. Um, I'm very cautious about the kind of moisturizers I put on in the morning because my skin does get oily. Again, I was 
nervous about the glow cream, but it was just like a subtle glow and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that quality about this product. Next up is the Guerlain eye cream. This was so great. This shocked me. I love this. I would totally get another sample of this in the future. I liked it so much, but it's Guerlain. Not only is it not cruelty free, but I know this is gonna cost an arm and a leg to buy, so no thank you. The last thing I used up is the C Texture Spray. This was in the project last month. It was okay. I wouldn't do anything with it. I wouldn't buy it. It was just meh. I had two fragrances in here and they weren't used up. I didn't really wear a lot of perfume this month, which is why these didn't really go anywhere. I didn't wear any other perfume other than this. So these are gonna be rolled in for another month. And there are a couple of other things that I didn't use or didn't finish. The first is the Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask. I know like it looks pretty full, but I'm because it, it's not like there's air up at the top. I did use this twice and I am about here. So this looks like there's maybe six to eight uses left in here and I don't think I could finish this next month. Um, but my goal usage for this for next month will be four times. And this is just like a fine gel mask. It's like really soothing and I, I, I do like having this. And there have been times where my skin has just been like really stressed out and this was just a really nice relaxing little mask. So I'm very happy to have it in there. This guy, the Shiseido White Loosen Brightening Moisture Cream. We are pretty far down in there. Like we're really close to finishing this. But this lasted way longer than I suspected. I didn't think this would be like three months worth of use. I do use this at night, just about every night. The occasional night, I'll just like wear an oil all over my face instead of this. This has genuinely been in and being used for like two months. This is a really, really thick moisturizer, so I would not use it in the daytime. But I'm not mad to have this in for another month. I do like it. I wouldn't repurchase it because of the ingredients and because of the brand and because of the price. But like while it's in here, I'm going to enjoy it. Another product I didn't finish is the Tata Harper Next Generation Beauty Face Regenerating Cleanser. I did use a pretty sizable amount in there. I think I used this three times. And I think there's another three uses left in here. I do like it that it's in a glass jar. And I was looking at this online and I'm pretty sure it retails for $90. I don't think that kind of money is in my budget for a face cleanser. And I haven't checked out the ingredients on here. And I don't think I would buy it once I used it up. But I have been enjoying it. It is like a micro... It's, it's a cleanser, but it's like a micro exfoliant. And so you you do feel it a little bit on the face. You do. That's why I only want to wear it, or sorry, put it on once a week because it is exfoliating. With like, I did finish the retinol this month, so that I haven't been using for a couple of weeks, but like with this product and then also with using like the lactic acid treatments, I don't, I don't want too much overlap there and I don't want to overly exfoliate my face. So using this once a month would have meant I, sorry, once a week would have meant that I would only put this on four times. Uh, this is a slow going little product and that's fine because I'm not gonna over exfoliate my face. So that's gonna be in there in, for one more month. And I don't have a problem with that because I like it. The next thing is the, where's the title? Oh, it's the L'Occitan Comforting Cream. I did look this up. This is a facial moisturizer and I have a pretty big dip in there. I used this with um, a moisturizer from a Cocoon Apothecary. It's in my Instagram project pan. That one is not moisturizing enough. So this is a really great mixing item with that. I'm not sure I'll finish it next month. Perhaps we'll see, but I am enjoying this. I would not purchase this with my own money. I'm enjoying it while it's in here, but you know, that's fine. And there were two products in here I did not use. One was the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter Foundation and my Herbalism sample. 
And I should have thought about this a little bit better, but I'm not gonna be using an exfoliating sample when I already have another exfoliating cleanser that's doing the same thing. So I'm not gonna use this until this one is fully gone. So I might use this once this month and I don't really foresee it more than that. And if I don't use it this month, that's fine. And then this, I'm gonna keep it out of the project for this next update. I don't know if there'll be another update after that, um, but this is staying out because I really want to finish my foundations in my current project pan and this is just like adding too much into that and taking away from those products. I really don't want to do that and I want to finish those and I really am hoping to finish that Physicians Formula foundation next month. So that Charlotte Tilbury foundation is just going to hang out until... I'm ready to use it potentially 2021. We will see. Okay, now it's time to roll in the new products. The first thing I want to roll in is this Shiseido mask. It is a single use mask. It's the power brightening one. And this is the very last sheet mask that I have. So I'm very excited to finally finish that or that category of product. And then I'm also going to roll in the... Um, the Briogeo larger minis. Um, I have both of the detoxifying shampoo and the mask. I'm also going to be rolling in the Eradicate Overnight Lotion. I'm pretty sure I've used this before and I like this. This, I don't know if I'll get two uses out of this, but hopefully. So that's another skincare product going in there. I also have this Caudalie Serum which hopefully I can get at least two uses out of here. This is, it's just called the Vino Perfect Radiance Serum. So hopefully that will be good. And then I also have the Ole Henriksen True Serum. I'm pretty sure I did try this out a couple of weeks ago in that like three pack set. I already have pleasant experience with that. So that will be okay. And also I did, I did not use this last month. This was the Victoria Beckham rejuvenating priming moisturizer. I'm not really sure about this. Um, I, I want to try it because I have been surprised with glowy products and if I'm just always out here like nothing glowy ever works for me then I, I then I would have missed out on some products that I've really been enjoying. So this one I'm hopefully going to use this month. I did have one more sample of the RMS Living Luminizer and what I think I'm going to do with this is include this in a Poshmark order if somebody places an order on my Poshmark. And I feel like that would be a nice sample. So I think that's what I'm going to do with that because I cannot use it. I do have some hair uh, products that I would like to use. This is the Living Proof Color Care Shampoo and Conditioner set. I think that would be really nice. And these feel really substantial like there's a lot of product in here and then i also have this um, moroccan oil styling cream i think there might be like four to five uses in here depending on if the product dries out or not so i'm excited about that one too and then the last thing is this kerastase um, repairing anti-breakage treatment there's a few treatments left in here so i'm gonna put that one in as well okay so just um, a few more things I'm going to roll in. The first thing is the coconut oil gel from iGK. I've never really used a lot of gel, um, so I'm going to try it out. I'm going to use a very, very light hand with this. I don't know if I will totally use this up next for next update because I don't use a lot of gel, and if I do, it's going to be very little, and if I don't like it, I won't finish it. But I think this is just this is a sample that's just like fun to use and experiment with. Oh, I didn't forget about this. This is the, it's the Ceramidin Dermacare Technology Cream by Dr. Jart. It just says apply morning and night. So I'm gonna have to do a little research on what this is before I put it on my face. Again, your sample, it should be very clear what your sample is. I shouldn't need to go look up that information. Three last things. I do have an Urban Decay um, eye primer in Sin. I have a few of these. I have another one in Sin and then I have two more. 
So I'm just gonna put in one, and if I happen to use it, then I'll roll in one of the other ones, but I highly doubt that. So I will just try and use this one. Just using the one is gonna be the goal. I also have the L'Occitane Divine Cream Mask. This is a use. And then I have the Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Stick Trio. It's Moonlight Amethyst and Tuxedo. I've always wanted to try these and I'm very excited about Moonlight. I cannot wait to, to pull these out. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about Tuxedo. And I think these are gonna apply differently than if you actually had this stick and you could put it on like that. But even so, I'm very excited about these colors. What is left in my little drawer for like a potential future? I have, oh, I have three. I have three different foundation cards as well as this hourglass foundation sample. Um, I'm not going to roll any of those in. Um, those could be for 2020, sorry, 2021. I have three of these eye primers and then I have my Charlotte Tilbury. I also have this. This is the apple cider vinegar leave-in hair therapy and I have a few more hair products that are in like my mask drawer um, and I wouldn't want to put in another like to have two masks in here. I only want to have one at a time and then I have a couple of, of like single use hair masks. So I have the um, Christoph Robin blonding shampoo and then I have the um, Kerastase ultraviolet sh um, mask. I don't know which video is going up first but I did talk about this mask in my empties and I love it. So these two are, I'm saving these for special occasions because they are so beautiful and I've, I've used them both. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just use them for the sake of using them. Enough so for another round of project, I don't think so. There's just, there's a lot of overlapping categories. I will look around and see if I missed anything, if there's other samples I could potentially roll in. So stay tuned till next month. Okay, so that's the update. My basket is looking really full and I'm really hoping to get some more use out of it, out of my products because like, look at this. This is another just basket full of empty products and I'm excited to see them go. Let me know your thoughts on having um, a the project go into December. Other than that, that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again around here soon. Bye.